In our area, we have dirt road. The highway ends a quarter mile from our house, but then all of that is dirt. And we're working with, from what, for where our homestead is, 10, maybe 10 mile or 15 mile radius. And that's where not only people live, but also livestock. So hauling water to those places on the dirt roads, it's wear and tear on your vehicle. And then the fuel to drive 10 miles. And we have this 500 gallon tank. Sometimes we do once, my dad does once a day. But if it becomes critical, it's two times a day. But we are more of a, you know, a privileged family that we could afford these things. Now some other families, they can't. And so they have to really rely on different sources or you know other families help so um, so and then if you buy the the, um, the water from the chapter which is the local government office it's um, a penny per gallon um, because they have to pay yeah, Navajo Tribal Utility Authority electricity to run the pump so I mean it's a huge it, it, it's a huge, it's a huge well. I mean, there's a lot of water that comes out of there, but um, there's electric costs and there's the water costs. So um, when the um, when they asked me to run for this position, is they wanted to eliminate eliminate all those costs and really look at renewable energy and how it could. And we are we are looking at renewable energy as far as water pumping at North Loop family farms, but it's not. I guess the technology, I'm not sure, this is just from what I've been hearing, technology is not there to where it can pump a large amount every day. It has to be stored over time. At the local level, at the local community level, at the larger level, more fast, you know, economic driven resources are the ones that are really sought after. Like right now we're going to build a casino. <laughs> or they built the casino. Yeah. So, you know, those types of things we're looking at. But it's really hard. Um, you get Navajo kids, come out of high school, go to college and maybe they're business majors and they come back with a totally different mind frame. So it's very challenging because, and then those people get, um, they get the positions at the tribal government level in Winter Rock with Joe Shirley. <laughs> and every, you know, those, those types of people, and you know, they're all in one, one mindset. So it, it becomes difficult at the larger level, but at the community level, if, of course I'm from the community I work from and everybody's kind of know, know, has known me for the work I've been doing there for a long time, so there's a lot of, you know, people um, respect a lot of the things that I bring into these communities, so it, it's been going very well. As we're progressing into this society, I, I'm afraid that, you know, future generations um, from the people that do live in my community now, a lot of them are elderly residents, um, parents my age, and, you know, my sisters are back there, they're, they're some of the younger folks, but not everyone is back at home. So, <clears throat> And we're huge, these tight family units, you know, are not so, they're not tight anymore. They're, they're expanding out into the cities. And so I'm afraid that, um, that maybe people from the outside or possibly the government might come in and say, well, these people, I mean, they're fully assimilated. They don't live their lifestyles anymore. They don't use the land that they occupy that they were so, so tied to anymore. Let's just go in and ex ex extract more resources. Um, so that's one I'm afraid of. Um, and um, I wish for the opposite of that. <laughs> I wish that um, because we're so economically driven and that right now at this situation that we could provide some type of you know, sustainable economics into our own community so that people could come back and um, learn more about you know, who they are and what they're here for. And um, so that's kind of the, the struggle uh, that we're moving towards, I mean, that, that we would like to see in 10 years as people come home um, and people live from there and um, everything is, I mean, not everything is going to be so great, but everything is well off again. Um, so that, that's kind of what, what I hope for. <laughs>